guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I prepare my fridge for a successful week on keto. So the first thing I do is I use these meal planning sheets that I have in my planner and I plan out what I'm gonna make each day and then I, um, based on that information, I will fill my grocery list in here. Once that is done, it will look like this. I basically fill in all the different things that I wanna make for the week. Um, Thursdays look like this, leftovers, because that is when I watch my nieces. Fridays also, we kind of do quick fixes based on what's left in the fridge, just to kind of clear it out. Um, Saturday is cheat day. Um, and then down here, I put like some of the extra things that I also wanna have in the fridge ready for the week. So this week I'm gonna do keto bars, some cookie dough fat bombs, chia pudding, um, ranch dressing, and then I always like to have a protein ready to go for like quick lunches and things like that. So typically I prepare most of this stuff um, between Friday and Sunday, so it's ready to go for the week on Monday. And then once that is filled in is when I create my grocery list. Based on the things that I'm going to make, I will create um, a list on the items that I'm going to need along with just some of the other things that I knew um, that we needed. When you plan out your week this way, um, it actually helps you save money because I'm going. It, it ensures that I'm going to use everything that I buy so things don't go wasted. And it also allows me to be prepared and so I'm not left not having anything to eat, which those are the times when you kind of reach for something that you really shouldn't have. Um, so the weeks that I really stick to this method are my most successful weeks by far. And it's a win-win because you're also just saving money and just more prepared, not only for me, but for my entire family. So at the end of the week, my fridge is kind of a mess. So before I actually do the grocery shopping and um, all of that, I go through the fridge, I clean it out, and then I refer to the list and determine if there's anything else I need or something that maybe I need to take off the list because we have plenty of. Um, so example, I've got plenty of Rouse marinara, so I'm gonna take it off my list. I do not need it. Now, I would be lying to you if I um, told you that I actually went to the grocery store because I don't. So what I do once I have my list finalized is I go over to Instacart and I put everything into my cart and check out. I don't, my grocery total is actually not bad, only one one seventeen fifty. Um, but keep in mind that I don't really buy proteins on here because I do butcher box. So my protein is in the fridge for the week. So this is kind of all of um, the other stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Since I don't have to go grocery shopping while Instacart is doing my shopping, I will get my workout in. So that is why I like to do that because uh, it's a big time saver. And yeah, so I'm gonna get this workout in. And when I'm done, my groceries should be arriving so I could finish the rest of my fridge prep for the week. So I just finished my workout and look what's waiting for me on the counter. Talk about a good use of time, right? I got my workout in, somebody else did my grocery shopping. Time to organize my fridge. Here is my haul for the week and um, all the things I need in order to make um, all of the meals that I've decided on making next week. Um, now I've got to do little fridge maintenance. I gotta clean out my fridge first, uh, wipe it all down, and then sh shred some cheese, wash the berries, and things like that. So I'll show you I've guys what I I've got some organic do. parsley here. I'm gonna run it through the food processor and put it in a container. I find that if I buy the parsley, but if I don't do this ahead of time and just have it ready to go in a little container, that it goes bad and I don't use it because in the moment and during the week, I'm just so busy that um, I don't have time for stuff like that and I don't wanna have to clean this out. So um, yeah, I do it right when I get it from the grocery store and then I will put fresh parsley in a lot of just my dishes. in there and then chop it up.
Now I shred up my cheese for the same reason. I need to have it shredded and ready to go because in the moment, I'm not gonna take time to um, shred it. I talk about this a lot um, on Instagram, but it's really important to buy your cheese in the block because if you buy it pre-shredded, it's going to contain starches in there and different chemicals in order to keep it from sticking. So you're gonna get a lot better quality cheese if you buy it in a block and shred it yourself. I also always buy organic, grass-fed, you know, RBST free, um, because you just don't want any of those um, added hormones and chemicals in your cheese. Oftentimes people think they're having a reaction to cheese, but realistically, they're actually having a reaction to bad quality cheese. So if you just switch up the quality of your cheese and um, test how your body responds, see if there's a difference. In most cases, there most certainly is. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up and put it in the container in the so fridge. So as you can see, I just shred it up and I put it in this container. I have two different kinds of cheese here. So I just, you know, put one on each side. I have mozzarella on one side and like a sharp cheddar on the other. And yeah, this is ready to go. So my ranch dressing is done. Now I'm gonna whip up a quick batch of cheese. Let's get into the specifics on how I make this because that's honestly a different video. It's also on my website, but uh, here are my containers for the chia pudding and I'm going to just whip it up. It takes like five minutes or so, biased so fast. Here, but I happen to think that I make like the best chia pudding because I've mastered it with just little tricks. Um, one of them being make sure that the coconut milk is refrigerated first and you only use the super firm hard part at the top of the can don't use the liquid or else your pudding won't be very creamy chia seeds until the mixture is in each container that way you're adding the exact amount in each container and um, you're, you don't want these to bloom in the mixer, so you don't want to put them in the mixer. Little minor details. Then you just pop the lids on and shake them up like that. And how you know your pudding is going to be nice and creamy is if you see the seeds are nicely distributed like that. They're not all resting at the bottom. It's because the coconut mixture is nice and thick because it was refrigerated. So now I'll just put these in the fridge. This is my edible cookie dough. Again, this is not a cooking video, so I'm not gonna go into the whole recipe. You can find it on my website. But I'm gonna add some Lily's dark chocolate chips, and this is one of my favorite sweet treats to have um, ready to go in the fridge. So I'm pretty there excited. Is, you guys. Delicious edible cookie dough. And I'm just going to place it into this jar and in the fridge it goes. So this is my go-to every morning, my apple cider vinegar, lemon and turmeric shot. So I have that right when I open the door and here is my fridge ready for a successful week. I wash my berries and um, have them ready to go. So those are some raspberries. These containers that I use in my fridge are from Brilliant Distinctions. Um, here is my batch of chia seed pudding. We've got some spinach. There's my parsley ready to go. I always have protein and as soon as it's depleted, I will make another protein that's just kind of ready to go so that if the kids say, hey, I'm hungry, there's always protein and veggies in the fridge. Um, here are my shredded cheeses. In here, I keep sliced cheeses. Um, they don't have potato starch or anything like that. These are organic RBST free sliced cheese, just a good grab and go option. This is some minced garlic. I've got my almond milk back there. 
Here is a batch of my cookie dough. Here's the ranch dressing ready to go. Got veggies in here. And then we've got, um, I usually keep my salami and bacon in here and then butter and cream cheese and I keep them in these little containers um, along with some organic string cheese. So this fridge is ready to go. Here, here I've got some eggs. I also keep them in a separate container. And then here is um, some more protein, so that's some steak. This fridge is ready to go. I've got all the ingredients I need in order to make all of the dinners I have planned for the week because I have gone through all of that already with my list. It's so efficient this way and effective, and I think that this is a real big component as to why um, I am so successful. I really stress um, to my clients to try to be organized, try to plan ahead, meal prep. But yeah, there you go. There's my fridge. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, all of that took me only an hour. Can you believe that? So the hour I saved by not going to the grocery store, I was able to clean out my entire fridge, prep for the week, make some things, and just ensure that I'm gonna have a really successful week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you uh, comment below and let me know what you thought. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.